All right, let's set up Cribble in AWS. Head over to our EC2 instances, and we'll go ahead and hit Launch Instance, and we'll start a new instance. Going to give it a name. Going to call it Cribble Server. And next, we can select our AMI. Going to go with Ubuntu, 64-bit architecture. Going to select an instance type. Going to search for large as it is our Cribble server, and I want to make sure it has the minimum hardware needed to perform optimally. I'll go with the C3 4X large. I'll use my key pairs. I'm gonna allow HTTPS, and actually uh, only SSH from my IP. I'm gonna edit my network settings. Leave the VPC and security group as default. Make sure SSH is set for only for accepting from your IP along with HTTPS. And then I'm gonna add one more for Cribble's UI port, which is port 9000. And again, I'll set it to my IP so we can connect to Cribble Web. And that should be it for now for security group since we're just doing a single instance deployment. If it's distributed, we can make port changes later on. Um, just verifying everything looks good. Instance type, Ubuntu, got a name, my architecture. Okay, go ahead and hit launch instance, and this is going to spin up. While that is going through all the checks in EC2, go ahead to go to Cribble's website and get their installer package. I downloaded that and put it on my desktop. Now I'm going to send that from my local instances desktop to my EC2 instance using SCP. So I'm going to do a sudo SCP, tack I, my keys, tack R, and then the installer package for Cribble for this 64-bit architecture. And then to send it off, I'm going to send it to my user here for this EC2 instance. So it's Ubuntu at the uh, public IP address, compute1, amazonaws.com. Going to put it in the home directory and hit enter. Enter my password. Fat fingered that, enter it again, and then say yes. And it'll now start sending over that downloaded Cribble install package to my EC2 instance. And now it's 100% complete. Gonna SSH into our Cribble server instance now. Uh, that we spun up on Ubuntu and see that the installer package is in our home directory. So now we can go ahead and move it to the op directory where we're going to untar it and I'll move there myself. Kerbal's documentation does say best practice is to not run anything as root user and create the Kribble user and take ownership of everything to run as Kribble. Feel free to do so. I'm going to head over to the op directory uh, and then untar it and press enter. And now our installer package is there, untarred. Going to move into the bin directory of Cribble and then start running up uh, our commands to get it going. So we're going to do a sudo cribble boot start enable. That'll allow Cribble to boot up automatically upon rebooting. Yeah, it's running as root. Again, best practice, this is not it. Run it as Cribble. Then I'm going to uh, start it up. So sudo systemctl start Cribble. So take a second and then Cribble will start. And then we can do a simple status check to verify that Cribble is up and running with sudo Cribble status. And the outputs here show that it is, is up for status at our address there on the web port of 9000. So we can go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna go to our EC2 instances public IP address, not the private one that showed up there. So if you head back over to your EC2 instance, grab its public IP, copy it, put it into your URL, HTTPS, and then port 9000. 
failed. Uh, let's try HTTP. I thought I had checked um, allow HTTPS traffic, but we'll try uh, regular HTTP and it goes. First time logging to Cribble, the credentials are going to be admin admin. Uh, don't worry, you can change them, but go ahead and put in all your information to sign up for stream product registration and accept their license agreement. So put in your email, name, company if you want, click I accept, and then register. Let's go. <laughs> all right, and then you can uh, change your password. So don't keep it as admin admin, change it to something else. It's going to prompt you here, click change password. And there you go, successfully started up Cribble and we're able to access it through the web GUI interface in AWS.